So good morning and welcome to Praise and Prayer on this Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Our service as usual is based on the first service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain and an order for morning prayer in the United Methodist Seminal. Our prayer list is from Newark United Methodist Church for the week of December 13th, 2020. This morning's picture is actually what this morning's sunrise looked like. If, if you were up and about, uh, it was, I think, around 6.30, quarter 6.30-ish. So that is what it looked like. Oh, Lord, open our lips, and we shall declare your praise. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every day is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Our first scripture is from John chapter 1, verses 6 through 8 and 19 to 28. These are scriptures that are designated for third advent according to the lectionary. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, what then are you, Elijah? He said, I am not, you are the prophet. He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer from those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, now they have been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan from John where baptizing was baptizing. And our Psalm this morning. 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O Lord like the water courses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Let us give thanks to God. For the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the world's beauty and the changing seasons. And for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his rule over all things and his presence in the world, let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the grace of the Spirit in the work of the church and the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. What are you grateful to God for today? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now we move into our time of intercession. Let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity we may constantly be renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work. For all our neighbors. For those who have lost work or at risk of losing their jobs. For family that have lost loved ones this week. For all who grieve those who are finding it difficult to work from home. For those alone and who feel forgotten. For those affiliated with the University of Delaware. For those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home. For first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need, may they have enough resources to meet the need. For students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and others who support them. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those experiencing food insecurity and those finding it difficult to make ends meet. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For and those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. For strength and safety for all caring for those with COVID-19. For our governmental leaders. And for those whose names we lift up now aloud or silently, that we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community. For those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. For those suffering with mental health issues. For those who are victims of domestic violence. For the family and friends of a paramedic who lost his life due to COVID-19 complications. For, for the church member who has been diagnosed with leukemia and has begun treatments. For healing and comfort for a COVID-19 victim who has been on a ventilator for three weeks with no improvement. For healing for the one with stage four cancer. For healing for a friend who had surgery on Wednesday, November 18th for broken vertebrae. For folk in the Philippines who are struggling with the aftermath of floods wrought by Typhoon Ulysses. With gratitude for prayers answered for relief from extreme back pain. 
with gratitude for prayers answered for finding a job. For successful treatments for the one undergoing treatment for leukemia. For a member's father who joined the church triumphant and for his family as they grieve his passing. For healing and relief from pain caused by a broken elbow and sprained shoulder, arm, wrist, and thumb. For healing and pain relief of pain caused by an ulcer-like condition that manifests itself due to stress. For continued healing strength as doctors run tests to determine cause of breathing difficulties. For a member's grandson a UD student who tested positive for COVID. For the family and friends of recently lost loved ones. For comfort and strength for the member who lost his wife recently. For a member's daughter-in-law who was 26 weeks pregnant and two-year-old grandson who have both been diagnosed with COVID. With gratitude for prayers and for being home after being hospitalized. For those who have lost loved ones and can't be with family to grieve. And for others we might name aloud or silently now. Let us pray. God. You have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. May God, God's very self, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. Put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.